I have returned to Apex Legends. I gave Call of Duty Vanguard a good run, but in his current competitive state, that being game battles, the cheating is running more wild than my ex-girlfriend. I wanted to start a different approach to my settings and do something a little non-traditional. I've been grinding ranked Apex really hard every day, and I've discovered a few things. I think my sense needs to be a little bit higher, especially for all the gunfights that are close range like bubble fights and pretty much everyone's using a shotgun so for that i'm gonna raise my sense not really so much full arm aim and do a bit of both of arm and wrist i also wanted to be the first master player in apex to play on excel so without any lag compensation or packet loss hit that auto lock key and hit the subscribe button and let's get into it I'm not going to go over all of my settings, I'm just going to go over the main stuff. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that people want anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with my DPI. My DPI is set at 800, and uh, my mouse sensitivity is 1.5, ADS uh, 1.0. I, I used to mess with this all the way up to like 1.3, but um, for consistency's sake, I, I pretty much just leave it at 1 now. It seems to be the most consistent. There is a little bit less recoil if you change this to like 1.3, but it just feels weird in Apex, so I'm just going to leave it at 1. Uh, move forward, have uh, bound to scroll because of uh, tap strafe. I'm pretty sure like 99% of people have that the same way. Um, video, the I used to run it in uh, 19 by 20. Um, I changed it to 1610 because... I get a little more frames out of it like that, not because I'm like wanted to be like Fade or um, any of those guys that run in the stretch res. It's just because uh, the frames is just a little bit better. 110 uh, FOV, and I have Nvidia for my uh, card, so I run an enable boost. It's supposed to help with latency a little bit, but uh, pretty negligible if uh, you can notice a difference on that. And then I run this at 6. I've heard a lot of people say that if you run at 8, it helps with lag. But I haven't really noticed much of a difference. And my graphics card seems to handle this a little bit better at uh, 6. So that's pretty much for the in-game settings. And then uh, I'm going to show you now the mouse excel. Alright, so for my mouse excel, the program I'm using is uh, ProvoHat's mouse excel driver. I'm running on the uh, Excel mode is going to be natural, sensitivity is 1, acceleration is 0 0.0583, sensitivity cap is 1.5833, 0 speed cap, 0 offset, post scale is 1, free scale, x, y, both 1. Now this is where it's a little bit different than what it used to be is that I have the post scale for X, I have it on 6, and post scale for Y is 5. So basically it's I'm not running a 1 to 1 ratio for up and down and vertical. So there's a reason for this and this is for me it's just like sensitivity is very personal, it's very subject to how you play so i noticed whenever i would move especially like hip fire when i would hip fire i wouldn't move my hand enough when i was hip firing and this caused me to like undershoot a lot and i'm not really sure why even after hours and hours of practicing it just i i couldn't get into the habit of it so I went ahead and changed the X axis to where it's actually a little bit more sensitive. So it's a little more sensitive uh, like this, and then this way is not as sensitive. Now I know that's kind of weird, but there's a couple of things that I like about this sensitivity is that I've always felt that the X and Y axis, especially on 19 by 20, has always felt a little strange in this game. And I think it has to do with the FOV, especially if you play on like a higher, like 110. The X and Y has never really felt the same as like CODs, and, I, and I'm pretty sure, I think I saw a Reddit post about this somewhere, but I think it's just how they measure FOV in the game is it either they can measure it 
uh, side to side or up and down. So that's one of the reasons I changed it. But another reason is because guns like the Havoc and the Flatline, uh, the Flatline is what I use the most uh, by far now that the Spitfire is not in. I know, I know, I love the Spitfire, bring it back. The spit, the the flatline does a lot of vertical or the flatline is not that hard to control as far as up and down, which is why I left the sense the same as before. But the side to side is a lot harder to control. But if it's a little bit higher, then up and down it's actually really easy to control I don't think that it's hard to just pull down on your mouse I, for whatever reason I think that that kind of recoil pattern is a lot easier and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people would agree with me on that pulling down in your mouse straight down is really not that difficult but when you're having to pull down and do like an S shape like on Valorant or um, even on like the car the new SMG it has a lot of vertical to it, or it has a lot of vertical and horizontal recoil. So the opposite of that would be to pull down this way and then back. And I find that really hard to do on a little bit lower sense. So if I correct the this way, like if it's a little more sensitive, I just naturally pull down and then I don't have to overcorrect so much on the on the horizontal recoil. So that's one of the reasons why I'm playing like that. If you don't have, if you don't have um, mouse Excel, there are some software uh, drivers like on like the Razer, I know for sure, like um, the Basculus and the, um, oh, what's their other main mouse? Uh, I forget the name of it. But they have X and Y for DPI, and you could kind of do the same thing. I'd recommend, like, if you were going to set it like that, it'd be like 700, you know, or 800. Like, your your X would be like uh, 850, and then your Y would be 800. And it would kind of be the same thing. I just have the mouse Excel, so it makes it a little bit easier. The back and forth. I haven't warmed up at all. I, this is literally the first shots of the game. And it just feels very, very nice. I, I, I have very good control of the side to side with it like this. I mean, it just feels so, so good. I know that I'll probably get <laughs> some people saying, well, it's not one to one, it's bad for your muscle memory. I got it. It's just for me. I have a harder time compensating on the horizontal axis versus up and down. I think pulling down is just, there's, I mean, it's, it's nothing to think about, but when you have it to pull down and overcompensate like the S pattern for the recoil, then that's why. So that's pretty much it.